What's up? And welcome back for a Whiskey Wednesday. That's right. I'm Chris. And I'm Devin. And Clark. We brought out the fish bowls. Just for the special occasion. We haven't used them for a while. They're like, you know, they have this certain je ne sais quoi about it, them. It is. It is a <laughs> fun presentation for you guys. But today we're talking Ooh. about, I was thinking I the same, mean, Baker you know? 7 Bourbon Whiskey, which is 107 proof. And this is made by Baker Bean. Um, you guys have to check it out. Like, when you put their serial number in and on their website and roll through the process, like, the coldest day this bottle saw in the seven years of aging was negative nine degrees. Okay. The hottest it ever saw was 101. And there, they believe it's all based on the exact location. So everyone is RFID tagged so that they know exactly what's going on. Yeah, definitely. So this was, like, Rack House 76. Four seven like barrel rack three barrel seventy six of that rack warehouse cl dash w <laughs> right I mean it's crazy that you know that's how they do it but I like the information I really do <laughs> I think that's pretty cool but I always like the mash bill just because I like that information you know and the Jim Beam family is actually not a bad bourbon I've I've enjoyed so far just about everything I've gotten from that uh, that whole distillery. As a matter of fact, um, Booker's. Booker's is also at Jim Beam. Correct. Right? Yeah, it's like that. It's always, uh, no, Blanton's is over at uh, Buffalo Trace. Right. But, man, that nose is so beautiful. I agree. It's, it's got just, a nice it, floral to it. It's wholesome. We're beautiful mash. Almost, yeah, like honeycomb and and, like, but, Sweet corn, and it's beautiful. But I can totally t- smell the difference between a tulip glass and our science-based neat glass that you guys know we love to use. Right? That's true. Mm. Oh, and it smells so good. so good. Sweet, yeah, wholesome. Let's get into it. Oh my god, that hits the bourbon that I've been looking for for the week. That's perfect. No, it's yeah, got... it's beautiful. It's not got an afterbite of the rye or anything coming out. It's nice and smooth. I have some rye in there though, but it's not a, a it's hard not afterbite. No, no, yeah. it's not offensive. Um, it's just like caramels and butterscotch and baking spices, and then it's just smooth for 107 proof that's that's pretty damn smooth i'm a yes i'm a yes on this one well there you have it now this one i did spend 100 bucks so it's not a cheap bottle it's not a cheap bottle but it's worth it that's my opinion hey guys thanks for tuning in will you do us a favor hit that subscribe button the notification bell so you know every time that we post something new and also, do us a favor. If you'd like, go ahead and hit that donate button so you can help us buy more wonderful liquors to go ahead and review and bring them out to you. And if you're feeling like it, hit that subscribe button as well as the membership button because we have a couple different levels there that you can help support us as well. There's even some members-only content as well. Um, but uh, sign up. You'll see a couple things a little bit earlier than we do from the other ones. But, uh, you know, again... Thanks for tuning in. Always remember to sip, savor, and And celebrate. celebrate. Salute. Salute.